Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. How are you, Dora? I'm fine. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. You yeah. you, you sound um, much better than yesterday. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. My yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Uh, no. Yeah. But, uh, today is okay. <laughs> yeah, yesterday you, you were very exhausted. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, from having to to wait in the line right mm -hmm. from yes. in the bank yeah mm -hmm. yeah i understand it's it's not easy yes. it's not easy yeah okay very good hello heidi can you hear me heidi Um, Heidi, I don't know if it's me, but I can't hear you. Uh, I can see that your microphone is open, but um, I can't hear you. I don't know if it's, like I said, I don't know if it's just me. Can you hear I, um, Heidi? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can you can check the the connection of the audio, Heidi. Okay. Um, okay, let me just, just Okay, let's see who else is here. Um hello Anna Claudia. Hi teacher, good evening. How are you? Good, good, good. I'm feeling a little better today. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because of the weather or your health? My health. Um, mm. Yesterday, um, I was, I was very, very like I was a, I had a big back pain. <gasps> really? I, could, I couldn't move my my neck my neck. Uh, um, now I can move it a little bit better, but because what did you do? Did you make therapy exercise or? Yeah, I went to get a massage. Ah. I, I couldn't uh, yeah I couldn't um, um I can't move my neck like I this is like as far as I, I would oh. go up to here that was it and so now I can I can I can move it a little better yeah, yeah it's still it's still sore but I, I, I'm feeling better did that happen but, because you slept maybe in a bad position or is something usual no it's it, it this is it's a it's a massage that was long overdue <laughs> yeah i i've um i've been having problems with my my back for a long 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 time um i've had lots of tension this past year and i haven't really taken care of it and now it's just like and and the but i think the the problem is that before um at least i would go to the gym you know i was i was active um so i even though i had a lot of tension but at the gym i would kind of like leave it it's important to to i don't know if it's correct to say lubricate 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 I don't know if it's correct to the, the with the movement. You know, I'm uh, attending uh, Pilates classes on Saturday, and mm. the most important, the focus is to to I don't know how to say this lubricar articulaciones. So we do a lot. It, it seems like we are not doing nothing, but yes, we are doing a lot because mm -hmm. most of the movements they are circular, cre creating circles or going from up to down but slowly uh, we make movements specifically for the elbow for the mm -hmm. leg for mm -hmm. our hands 
our head. It, it, it takes a long time, but it's really, really helpful. And they, yeah. they say that word, we need to lubricate articulation. I don't know how to hmm. that. Okay. I well, well yeah, I guess it would be lubricate. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe but you then, need to to get the custom to do like a routine of exercises with your Yeah. The, the problem is that since I, I like I was going to the gym or like I had my routine, um like I was going constantly. But then here I haven't um I haven't found a gym yet. Uh, I just can't imagine. Uh -huh. And, and it, it just imagine it's like that right now that you are at le at the end of your goal during the place you want to go. Now it's like, oh, e everything, all the the stress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As day is like now. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what's happened. So, um, it, my body's like now like uh, taking yeah exactly mm -hmm. exactly that's 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 exactly what's happening right now mm -hmm. so um it, I'm starting to feel it but the but the um massage therapist told me that I should not go to the gym uh, at least not yet no uh -huh. he, she said that um, at least not to, um, I shouldn't be going, um, like to do like weights or anything like that, that uh, what I, what I need. And, and I think it's like what you're kind of like what you're saying, mm -hmm. what I Let need, it, it, what I need is like, um, to, uh, get like the blood flowing. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, so something maybe like cardio not yeah. so not so much like weights or anything like yeah. that but more more cardio um so so yeah uh, i'm gonna yeah i have to start like uh being more active and everything Excellent. but it's just like it's just the the past like for example okay so it's not only that i haven't found a gym it's just that um i i haven't um it, well the the past few weeks have been like very cold and I and I haven't like even wanted to go out for a walk because it's you know because it's it's cold and everything so yeah but I have to <laughs> okay I have, and I'm I, curious is it isn't too much expensive a uh, massage over there like I don't know um it I found it was more expensive than El Salvador yeah oh yes how, yeah. how much is uh, the range um it's well um this around is, 50 dollars no 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 not that much uh but um this massage therapist uh charged like twenty dollars something like that oh. and uh another one was charging like 27 something like that oh, okay mm -hmm. yeah but at least it's one hour massage or 45 minutes oh okay well mm -hmm. it's kind of depend on the place you go in a sabbath but yes here in the sabbath you can find between 10 or 15 exactly but it depends because sometimes mm -hmm. they just focus on on your pain area Mm -hmm. it depends yeah yeah this the they did like a like kind of like a medical massage mm -hmm. mm, ah okay so yeah. spe special massage yeah so, it was it was yeah it was oh, it was okay. like had to be like very mm -hmm. very tough because um, my, my my muscles were just like wow yeah, it was very really really bad i'm happy that you are feeling good <laughs> it's good to know yeah I'm I'm feeling I mean I'm not feeling good 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 but I'm feeling but better good. than yesterday <laughs> better than yesterday yeah yeah <laughs> that's good yeah I at least I can move my neck yesterday yeah. I couldn't move my neck mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay good so I'm feeling, yeah thank you hope you get better and you rest <laughs> yes on, to be on top and, and as you want to be bless you <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Ha, 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 ha.
Thank you. Um, hello. Let's see. Heidi, is your microphone working now? Mm, no, Heidi, we still can't hear you. Maybe you're going to have to go, go out and come back in. Yeah. Hello, David. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. As good. always, as always, sleepy, but fine. <laughs> With that, half, that you know, half that the you brain. Know the, you know that the half of my class is in a sleepy way. <laughs> <laughs> but you do a very good job of uh, of um with with half of your brain still working. <laughs> you do a pretty good job. So good for you. Hey, I can you, only I can only imagine what it would be like if it was full yeah. full brain. <laughs> full dolphin. Full All dolphin. of the brain. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly that'd be very interesting okay excellent i'm glad to hear that hello indiana uh, indiana i think she's she's something she's doing something else okay uh hello william Yeah. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm not very well, teacher. I'm sick. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It, do you have like a cold or something? Yeah, flu and cough. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that, that's tough. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you taking something? Are you taking medications or? Yeah. Taking yeah. some pills. Oh, okay. 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 Good. Good. But but you went to the doctor or, or something like they prescribed? No, just uh, I bought. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just just be careful that you're not um that 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 they're the right medication for you, right? Because otherwise yeah. you can you can um, do quite a bit of damage. <laughs> so got you want to be careful about that. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope you feel better. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Hello, Fernando Ernesto. How are you? More or less. I, uh, to be honest, I am very bad, but I am trying really? to, to be here, yes. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, everybody is... Is having their own issues today. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, hello, Wendy. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Well, hmm, yeah. Um, it's okay. The day <laughs> was okay. Okay. Day, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you sure? Because you sound kind of. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a uh, in my work is was very bad. You oh, see. Uh -huh. Um. Uh. He, many many crises in my work too. But right oh. now is I am okay because I stay in my house with my family. So oh, okay, okay, it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes that happens, right? But but at least you're at home now. You can rest a bit. Yeah, right? yeah. Tomorrow yeah. is other day. <laughs> exactly. Tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 All right, let's see. Um, hello, Jose Marcos. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, fine, fine. Yeah, okay, good. You're feeling better now? 
Yeah, yeah, I feel better. Okay, <laughs> good, good. All, all my injuries. Today. Yeah, yeah. It, it takes, sometimes it takes a bit of time to, with those kind of injuries, right? It takes time to, to fully recover. But um, I'm glad you're feeling better now. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, today, one um, mate from the job um, in, invited me to play football um, in Saturday, but I football or soccer? The, uh, football or I don't know, soccer. <laughs> football okay. Like, okay. Football. Uh, so um, he went to to play uh, this Saturday. Uh -huh. I told him that I'm not able to do that because um also I can walk and I don't think I can run because mm. sometimes it feels like a hit. Yeah. Yeah, and if you don't feel prepared for that then it's best that you don't do it, right? Yeah, it's best that you you stay, you know, you stay put until you feel that it's the right moment to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not ready to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe in a few weeks later, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, you know, it's, it's not like you're never going to do this. You just have to um, be a little bit patient. And I'm sure that uh, very soon you'll be able to get back on your feet and, and try that. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you're, that you're getting better um, quickly, right? Um, and just... Uh, just take your time to get fully recovered. Yeah, and the yeah. important thing is that I am able to walk by myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Okay. All right, let's 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 try that microphone again, Heidi. Let's see if it works. I think I'm ready. Yay! I can make a mm -hmm. Oh, and is the problem the, the computer? I don't know what's the problem. Mm -hmm. But I will fix. Okay. Yeah, because you can try. It, I, what I could I can um recommend is maybe restarting the computer, and then mm -hmm. it it may it may work the the second time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How's your How's your son? Is he better now? He's better now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad He's to hear that. For, for his birthday party at school tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 glad he's feeling better and he's gonna be able to enjoy mm -hmm. himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. Hello, Eliana. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm great. And you? Um, better. I'm, I'm doing better. I'm not, I'm not 100% uh, great, but much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. You, uh, you, you seem very energetic today. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's that kind of great day? I like a normal day, but a great day. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know and sharing. Okay, good, good. Um, all right, so we're going to start with the attendance, guys. Just give me one moment. Okay. Um, all right. So, guys, uh, just a reminder I need your cameras on. Okay. 
if you guys can can turn it on i can because i can i can see that there are some people that have don't have their cameras on so if you could turn that on that'd be great so wendy harvin roberto luis dave i know the david second camera hey francisco eduardo hey jose wilfredo I can't see your 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 camera, so if you guys can turn it on. Okay. Um Anna Claudia? Present teacher. Great. David? Present teacher. Great. Dora? Present. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto? Present. Excellent. Um, Fernando Marvin, is it possible for you to turn on the camera? I know you're in the bus, but is it possible? I guess not. Fernando Marvin, no? Okay. Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Present issue. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Wonderful. Liliana. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Harvin? Present teacher. Okay. Jose Marcos? Present. Okay. Uh, Jose Guzmín? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Just give me a moment, guys. I'm having trouble with. This thing, I don't know why it's going on. My computer is going crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. It just, it just closed the, the attendance sheet. Just let me open it again. The good thing is that it uh, it saves all of the information I put in. So at least the attendance could, uh, stays. Okay, so okay, let's try this again. All right, so Harvin. Harvin, I didn't get your attendance. Harvin, are you there? Me teacher? Uh -huh. okay. okay, present. All right, thank you. Uh, Jose Marcos? Jose Marcos? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what sells me. 
Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Jose Wilfredo, um, is it possible for you to? Uh, hello, teacher. My camera is on. Okay. I'm leaving the, the building right now. I'm driving. Okay. Ah, yeah, there. There you are. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel. Here, teacher. I'm here. I'm here okay. present. Wonderful. Thank you. Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Roberto, Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roxana. Present. Wonderful. William. Present. Excellent. Eh, Suleima. Wendy. Present teacher. And Wilfredo. Okay, all right, perfect. So now I have at least uh, we have the attendance here. Okay, so um, okay. All right, no problem, uh, Fernando Marvin, it's okay. All right, so um, let's, uh, so let's share the PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Yes, it's sure. Wonderful. Okay, so today is the advance day number 21. Um, date is Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. So, ooh, wow, we already started this, the third month of the year, right? Imagine, it's going by so quickly now. Uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to be doing a group work. We're going to prepare a structured interview. Oops. We're going to be preparing a structured interview, uh, which is going to be six to eight questions to get information about areas of cyber attacks and cybersecurity you want to expand on. Request an appointment with the IT person of your company and uh, request permission to record the interview. So you basically, you're going to be uh, doing, uh, you're, you're gonna be preparing the questions and making like a conversation, okay? Uh, to be able to uh, get these, um, the information about the areas to expand on and to request the appointment. Okay, do you understand what this means? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, so it's about six to eight questions. And this is uh, what you can use to guide you. Okay, so we can have questions about cyber attacks, uh, questions about cybersecurity, um, other questions you wanna you want to ask, and the conclusion that you make on how to improve. Okay. Uh, any questions about the assignment? It's all clear? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna make the groups. We're gonna have small groups, okay? Um, and, okay, so we're gonna have small groups and I'll send you guys, I know you guys have it in the manual, but just in case I'm gonna be sending it to the WhatsApp group. But first I'm gonna make the breakout rooms.
Okay, I just want to make sure that everybody is here. Everybody needs to be here. It's here. Okay, so David, you're here. Right. Uh, yes. Yes. Help for me, but I. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, Fernando Ernesto, you're also here. Uh, Harvin, are you? Can you work for Harvin? Are you here? Yes, I'm here, but I come from the home. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear you very well. You were going to do some activity? Yes, we're going to be doing an activity. Can you participate? Right now, I am not able to participate. Okay, all right, got it. Okay, uh, Ana Claudia is here. Yes, I'm here. Um, and Jose Marcos. Is here and Ileana is here. Okay, just a second. Okay, uh, Dora, you're here. Um, Francisco Eduardo. Uh, Francisco Eduardo, are you able to participate? Uh, I try to share uh, I am uh, working, but I, uh, I am a little busy to share. Okay, so, so do you think you'll be able to participate or not so much? During this moment, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, Wendy? is here. Wendy? Wendy? Hello? Are you there? Oh, se nos ha ido varios. <laughs> okay. Um, Jose Wilfredo, will you, will you be able to participate? Or maybe not, right? Yeah, I think not. Hello, Trim. Uh, I can if you want. I in a couple of minutes I will be on the phone. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. Okay. 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 Cool. Uh, Juan Miguel. Okay, wonderful. Roxana. Roxana. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um Okay, um, and uh, Fernando Marvin. Fernando Marvin, I think not. And Heidi. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Um, okay, I think, okay, so I think I have the groups now, uh, and I will give you, I'll give you about 20 minutes to prepare it, okay, and I'm going to send you the, um, pictures right now, okay? So I'm opening the rooms right now.
Okay, let's check. I have the student's book here, so I will share the, the screen. Just let me do this in this moment. So, Roxana, <clears throat> we have to prepare an interview with those uh like a main topics if we can tell this so i will do i will open a powerpoint in okay i have a blank PowerPoint in a place in the student's book in the in the on the left. So questions. Questions about cyber attacks. Okay, uh, you have any question, Roxana, that uh, you could uh, ask for a, uh, maybe for a person or for a technician in, in this kind of industry? Maybe uh, what type of measure do you implement to detect? What type of measures? Mm -hmm. Implement to identify a cyber attack. Okay. Okay, it could be the second one. Yesterday, mm -hmm. there, there were some words like ransomware, malware. Malware. If you want, we can make a list which words we are going to include in the. Um, Weak link, weak link, cyber, cyber weak. breach. I remember, I think that was one of the uh, security chain. 
the security chain. Mm -hmm. We said also ransomware. We say malware. Uh, um, malicious activity. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are a lot of work, malicious activities. Activities and insider the theft. Insider. Hello. Okay, let's start making like we suppose we are going to this company and one of the questions will be if we are talking with the IT person, um, does this company been under a cyber attack in the last two years? Um, let's write just ideas. How did you, how do you prevent, no. If you want, I can, I can make like a, a word with the, hmm? I can make a, a word. On oh yeah, please, because I don't have nothing in my, this is just a thing computer is Zoom, uh, Email. Okay, so here. What do you understand by risk, vulnerability, and threat in a network? And there are the there are the the answers. Treat is someone with the potential to harm a system or it's, remember, of, it's threat. Sorry, sorry threat. 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 Me okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Threat, someone with the potential to harm a system, vulnerability, witness in a system that can be exploited by a potential hacker, risk, potential for, for loss or damage, with threat, exploits a vulnerability. Okay, the next question was, are the, what are some of the common cyber attacks? And, okay, following our, is without, yes. No. Yes. Okay. More war. Fishing. Fishing, Fernando, is, is fishing is something like uh, stealing the identity. Something like this. Fernando, I lost you. Malvertising from the software. And uh, we have three. But for this one, we don't have the answer. But do you understand? Okay. And Number four was this one. Mm, 
this is ah okay it's playing fishing yes this is good okay number four explain and a cyber attack in which a hacker disguise as trust attempt to steal sensitive financial or personal information through fraudulent email or instant message. Okay, that is fishing. And we need two more. The next one was this. You can prevent phishing attacks. Okay. And uh, this is the same. This. You can prevent phishing attacks by using the following practice. Don't enter sensitive information in the way past that you don't trust. Verify the site's security. This firewalls the antivirus software that has it. It's still there. Uh... Still data or use a bridge computer as launch point for other attacks. That's mm -hmm. could be and answer. Another could be how how can you protect to the different cyber attack, maybe or no. Um yeah, yeah. that's could be another could be like what other methods will be used as a cyber attack? Oh, okay. Okay, Dora. Uh, which? Pero, uh, Wilfredo, write, write the question. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Echoes. William, send more information. Or what other methods? What other methods can be used as a cyber attack? Mm -hmm. What other question maybe is what is biggest problem? Okay, then Cyber security. This is the, the other one is the question. Mm -hmm. And for things to keep a uh, cyber safe. Oh, the another could be the different types of cyber attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, what? The the different types of cyber attacks. I will send you to that. The different types. Oh, that is similar to what, about what other methods can be used. Oh, yeah. Okay. As a cyber attack. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, is the answer to that, that question. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 
And what is the difference between threat, vulnerability, and risk? What is the difference between threat, vulnerability, and risk? Cyber thread. Any circumstance, sorry, constancy, or again with a potential to impact organizational operation, organizational assessed individuals or their organization or nation through a system. I, I, I sent the other question, question, uh, and the answer. Same. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can add uh, what happened if you uh, if you are in front of a cyber attack. Will you repeat, please? What happened if you are in front of a cyber attack? You. If you are in front of, if you are in front of a cyber attack. Look the servers. <laughs> Teacher, we have a question. Okay, what question do you have? Uh, we need to uh, try the answer or just the question? No, just the questions. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Maybe the other could, could be to you know what is the meaning of cyber attack. No other question. Uh, for me, it's in here. Do you know what is a cyber uh -huh. attack? Uh -huh. Cyber security, other questions, and pollution. Teacher, conclusion is only one S. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is correct. Only one S. Hmm. 
तो of all of to back up the company's information Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, at the bank, we do that daily. Mm -hmm. We do it every day. You can say daily too, when you answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last question. What is the value that I need back up for saving information? Because I can say that monthly or daily or. Hey, por qué la borraste? Back up. Ah, pero bueno. What is the value that I need to make backups for database. saving information? Of the database. Database backups. Backups for for saving. How are you guys doing? Are you almost ready, or do you need more time? Uh, we are missing a question. Only one question. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. All right, we are almost done. Okay, great. But let me see. We are. Are you almost done, or do you need more time? I see. Uh, we, we have all we the questions. Have, we have the question. You, sorry, could you repeat that? You're 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 done, or? We have we had the sixth question. We we are ready. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right. I am going to continue seeing how the other groups are developing and uh, probably maybe around uh, a three to five more minutes. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. There are the six, Fernando. What was the wake link? I you answer no at that time. Yes, uh huh. Yes, yes. One of the employees we had like an external contractor. He sold our data. He wanted to sell our data to the competitors, but we to, to sell our data to sell to sell our data. Okay. <laughs> To sell. sell, yeah, because with two we use the infinitive. To sell our data mm -hmm. to competitors. And how are you girls doing? Are you almost ready? Almost, teacher. Yeah. How many questions we have? I guess we have one, two, six three, to eight. four, right? Six, six to eight. Is six to eight? Then we have four. Because um, yeah, we have the question about the record interview. Uh, okay, uh -huh. cyber tax one. It was an insider theft two. Mm -hmm. um, the weekly link three. Um, yeah, we, we just have to write three more, but I think that we have the idea. So, it's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. so how much more time? Maybe five minutes. Five minutes, huh? Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, 
so the other question should be uh, uh, did you yeah. I will I will um, huh? add one more uh -huh. person to your group so that you guys can have a little bit more help okay okay, okay. Uh, what would be do you think? Give me one second. Are you almost ready? Almost, teacher, almost. Okay. almost. How much more time do you need? Uh, five minutes, I guess. Minutes. Okay, perfect. Yep. Okay, here's the first one. How are you doing, guys? Are you almost finished? Yeah, teacher. Yeah? How much yes. more time do you need? No, I think we are ready. Just to order in the presentation. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, about five more minutes then. Uh, well, the other groups finish. Okay, okay. So we can ask. So we can ask in, at that point to get the interview with the uh, IT person, and then let me just take the security. What was the security? Cyber. I'm going to your cyber. I'm just going to take the. Uh, screenshot to get a better idea okay now i got got it uh-huh and then uh, uh -huh. i don't have the you know, information but um we have a specialized it engineer that take care of this area Something like that. <laughs> and then you ask for the interview. Mm -hmm. And, oh yes, he's out of the office right now. <laughs> he's out of the office. In, uh, make an appointment with the key, key what the like the like the assistant the gatekeeper the gatekeeper how do you write that can, can you just spell for me huh? could you G spell? G A T E A and the T A gate gate ah uh, gate uh, the uh. keeper G is mostly used G G K the the all the, just the two initial word uh, letters. G G K. <laughs> <laughs> we use it a lot in our business. Ah, just stop at. But G. it's gate gatekeeper like gatekeeper. that. Hmm? Gatekeeper. Gate. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. So we are stop at gatekeeper every day we cannot cross that border <laughs> okay and uh, then is it possible to record okay you know, no. yeah sure but information should be just for your project and it's confidential blah blah yeah does the company okay. i deal? guess we have the idea right mm -hmm. does the company ever deal with cyber attacks 
and the answer is about the ransomware. Uh -huh. oh, that sounds weird. Did you identify if there was an insider theft? Yes, one of the employees wanted to sell our data. Do you identify where was the weak link? And you said, yeah, he tried to, he used a uh, software. He installed that, a software, specific mm -hmm. software that was a, uh, uh, mirroring the information and sending it to a different server. Mm -hmm. Outside server, blah. blah. Okay. Uh -huh. Can you blame me about your cybersecurity? Um, and, and then I can, can I will need can to say tell something you. like, um, we try to mini mice the cyber breaches breaches ah, but i don't have the enough information we about, have in place uh, the it manager he takes care huh. of the law yeah, yeah. we try to minimize the cyber breaches but i don't have any information about that so uh, it's impossible for me to talk with the it manager He's out of the country now, but you can make an appointment with gate with the gate. With the gatekeeper. <laughs> the gatekeeper. It's a common word <laughs> for me. I <laughs> for me, no. Ah, okay. For me, what, for me. It's a new word. Uh -huh, a new completely word. <laughs> okay. It's coming to just say the receptionist. That now gatekeeper. Okay. I guess we are. I think things are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're done, girls? Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. Wonderful. All right. Okay. See you in the waiting room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Mm, I get. I guess Fernando disconnected, right? He was. Are you ready? Are you ready, group? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room then. Who, who is... Okay, so I think we are all back, or the majority of us, we have everybody back. So uh, we are going to start with the first group that I have here, which is David and Fernando. Okay, teacher. My phone was... Uh... I don't know, look or something like that. Okay, we are uh, doing an an interview, uh, but uh, uh, Fernando needs to go to take uh, a medicine for his back, and uh, I will talk until he will back. He, he says <laughs> like. Okay, so in that case, um, let's move to the second group and then we'll go back to you guys, okay? Okay, yeah, because Fernando is taking a medicine. 
Okay. okay thank no you. No problem. Thank you. No problem. All right. So let's uh, see. This is uh, group number two, Ana Claudia and Eliana. Okay. Okay, let's start. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hello, let me introduce myself. I'm Eliana, and first of all, I want to thank you for your time and for answering a couple of questions for my graduation project. Oh, hello, Eliana. I'm Ana Claudia, manager of this company, and it's an honor that you consider our company for your investigation. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Thank you. Uh, I just want to ask if it's possible to record the interview. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Just uh, take in consideration that for security policy, please don't record the logos or sensitive information of our company. But just you can go ahead. Oh, no problem. Thank you. So let's start with the record. Okay. okay. First questions. Uh, does the company ever deal with cyber attacks? Oh, yes. At uh, the very beginning of the operation of this company, we faced a cyber attack with the ransomware. And, you know, it was so it was so hard because no one uh, at the office was able to access the server. No one has had access at that at the time. And we had to deal with that. It was hard. It was our first a uh, our first time facing this type of incident. Oh, that sounds weird. Did you identify if there was an insider theft? Uh, yeah. Uh, one of the employees uh, we had at that time in the IT department, he wanted to sell uh, our database to... Um, uh, to other company, to other uh, competitors. Uh, it was uh, hard to identify because, you know, as an IT person, as a tech savvy person, they were doing different things that we weren't aware of. Okay. And do you identify where was uh, the weak link in this case? Yeah, the weak link, it was in the process of mirroring the information in the server. He installed an external software and this program was like uh, taking away, was stealing the, the data, the customer's information. And at the time, it, the employees were processing information and payments. At the same time, that information was going to uh, a different companies. And for that reason, there was like, uh, the, the system, the, the, the server was working slow. And we were facing pro problems. And then is when we start thinking that, something was not going uh, well. That sounds uh, very, very uh, delicate. Uh, can you explain me about your cybersecurity or your cyber plans in your company? Yeah, we try to minimize the cyber breaches, but mm, in my position, I don't have the all the enough information, you know? We have an IT manager and he's taking care of now all of this after that experience we had at the beginning of this company. So we decide to invest in open the position for a certificate IT manager. And he handles all these uh, incidents, all these issues. Maybe is it possible for you to talk with the IT manager? Yeah, it's possible for me to talk with the IT manager now? Yes, okay, you can go ahead. I authorize it. <laughs> you can ask for a, you can request an appointment with the gatekeeper and she can tell you the best time, the best day, because today the IT manager is out of the office. Oh, okay. But thank you for the opportunity to talk with him too. And well, that's all. 
thank you very much. I think I have all the information I need. And just let me tell you that it was a pleasure to meet you and to talk to you. Thank you very much. The pleasure, my pleasure too. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bravo. Excellent. Very good girls. Okay. All right. So we learned a lot about um, the security of, of Anna Claudia's company. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very, very good. Excellent. And uh, you use the vocabulary very well as well. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Okay. All right. So um, are we now ready, um, David and Fernando? Okay. Okay. Ready when you are then. David, you are mute. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, let me share my my uh, screen, and we will do it like uh, an interview. I am David and and uh, uh, if you want, you do. Don't, don't share the screen. We only speak about yes, it. Yes, right now. Ask me the question. Okay. Uh, so, okay. No worries. Yes. That is, I am, I am David, and Fernando is Mr. Ken, like Clark Ken. He is the IT manager. I start the conversations. Mr. Ken for IT manager, and David from Human Resource Department. We are requesting you for an interview to update the information about cybersecurity in order to avoid cyber, cyber attacks only in our department. You don't see, sorry, 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 sorry. What is happening? I, I, no, it's not, it's not I don't know why, but I was sorry. You saw all sorry. your files. Sorry. <laughs> you look on my account, hey, you are pushing me. <laughs> sorry. Okay, let's start. Sorry for my mistake, my fault. Okay. Okay, let's start again. Now, Mr. Ken from IT manager, and David from Human Resource Department. And as a Human Resource Department, we are requesting you for an interview to update the information about cybersecurity in order to avoid cyber attacks in our department. Okay. Okay, the questions about the things we need to know, Mr. Ken, are first one. How secure is our company? You can see it, our system and our information. How secure is our company in order to avoid cyber attacks? Okay, we are updated until 2023, but the hackers are innovating their strategies. And the hackers always uh, can, can find a bridge in all the systems. That is, uh, you, you can, you, you can do anything about it because every day maybe a new bridge is uh, is opening in every system and uh, it's, it's very it's very common and it's very important to have a, a system security in, in our company and always as we can update that system because uh, with the updates we are we are sure that the new bridge the new threat security securities are it's protecting for against that that threats. Okay, thank you. And uh, in that way, what uh, do you or what do we understand about risks, about risk, about vulnerability 
and three in a network. Uh, at present, it's a, it's a potential arm system or organization. Uh, every, every day you, you can maybe uh, affirm the, the threats when every employee that use a computer, send an email, uh, only co communicate with each other. Vulnerability is all the weaknesses in the system. For example, we, is, we have a lot of maybe security certificates on our, in our servers, but we have to be pending about the maybe the, the, the day you expire of that certificate. So if you let the certificate expire, uh, that is a weakness in our system because we are not protected with, with uh, the protocol, the security protocol. Uh, in the risk, the potential of road damage, uh, we, we only don't have a, a, a digital risk. We have physical risk too. So we have to be uh, prepared about maybe a, a damage or, or a vulnerability. It's a splice. Uh, we have to be to do a backup or system. We have to to have a, a, a mirror server with all the information because we, we don't know when we 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 receive an attack. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And uh, what is firewall, and why is the, it is used? A firewall is a network security system. Uh, usually. Uh, when you are using a personal computer in your operating system, depends on the operating system that you use. For example, if you use Windows, you have a, a firewall in the system. It's a it's a standard firewall. But if you want if you want to be more secure, maybe you, you can install a, a payments firewall and a good firewall. In not only your computer, you can put it in a in your system, in your server, and in, in, in the server when you keep the information. And that is very important because the firewall is a, is a, in a, is a tool to, to avoid and combat the, the threats, the vulnerabilities, and it is a, it's a very important tool in our system, in our systems. Okay, thank you. What are some of the most common cyber attacks? Uh, we have uh, different cyber attacks, uh, but maybe the most common are malware, phishing, password attacks, the DOS, Magic in the Middle, Drive by Dogland, advertising, and rock software. But maybe uh, the, you know, the most, the most uh, common in, uh, in nowadays is, is phishing, malware, and password attacks. That is very common when you are interchange information be, between maybe uh, external person of the of our company or if you you don't look the this the maybe the, when you receive a mail or you receive some file you have to depend on that what is the source of the, of the that email or, or and you have to read and uh, we have a, a guide a like that we have the icons when you can see the icons. If you see that those icons in, in the email or maybe in the file, you can have, you, you can have to you have to call uh, IT because they have to re, re, uh, check your computer, the files. You have to be uh, secure about it. Okay, thank you. Can you explain phishing and how? how to prevent it? Uh, you, you, can, you can prevent it. The, uh, maybe you can, you, we, have, we have a guide about it. Uh, uh, phishing or any, any hacker attack, maybe if you learn how to identify when you are maybe uh, receiving a, an, an, a hack attack or the, the links is not secure. Uh, you can you have you can you can see that sign that something is wrong uh, because when you receive an email when you receive a document you can check it is maybe the the, the sign the document 
if you if you receive an email, you can uh, you can check the sender, the domain of the sender. Uh, for example, if, if you do, you you can you uh, you shouldn't uh, share your information when they someone sends you an, a, a a form for filling. If you don't you aren't secure that the form uh, is uh, for a, a, a good source, you uh, you shouldn't fill the form. And maybe you you can, you shouldn't click uh, any page that you watch, or maybe uh, you can, when you click the, the, those page, pages, uh, sometimes uh, you, you are, Open a, opening a, a bridge in your system. Ver, verify the system security, use the firewalls. Um, it's very it's very recommended to use an antivirus. Then that's it. Okay. This is something like uh, they, this guy that pretend to be the, the bank or something you, you know, and they send an email requesting information. And uh, you give information thinking that uh, you are talking with the bank, but in in, in the reality you are, you are talking with a hacker. Yes, maybe the, the main recommendation that can I give you is uh, always that when you are updating your password, put a, a strong and unique password using numbers, using camel, camel, upper cases, uh, numbers, and signboards. Uh, it the more it the more important is uh, you you can share that password for, for any person. It's only for you. That is a, a big role that you want to you have to to do when you are uh, if you you want to prevent identity theft. Uh, you 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 shouldn't uh, share maybe your information uh, by, via mail or WhatsApp or. Another, another, because that if you don't use a VPN, for example, VPN in a, is a maybe it's a software that can use for uh, communicate with a, with a with a server or with another person, but it, the communication is is encrypted for for the VPN. So that is a, a good method, um, a good uh, recommendation too. Um, you can, you don't, you shouldn't save the, your uh, information, your bill information, your credit information in in website to to buy. Maybe you can buy something, but I, you shouldn't save your credit card because uh, it, it's, it's, a, uh, it's very common that you, you save your credit card and when that, that site is attacking, they, uh, they steal your information from the website and, you receive a, an email or a, a text message that you are buying something in England and you live in Salvador, for example. Uh, it, it's very common. Uh, if I recommend uh, to update the system somewhere when you can, when the new, the new software appears or the, a new day appears in your system, it's recom recommendable to, to update the system. That's it. Excellent. And, uh, well, you almost uh, uh, answered the last question. How can I identify this theft be prevent? How we can identify the theft? The, the uh, you can, in first, you can uh, check the, the mail center, for example, or the website. The website had to be a, a log. Uh, an icon to a loop that that means that you have a security certificate in your website that is a, a website secure uh, you can uh, you you shouldn't have sensitive information in the web pages when you for example write that password sometimes the, the browser asks you if you want to say the password you maybe you you do it but if, uh, you shouldn't do it. You have to take your power maybe in your memory on in your head. And use use firewalls and uh, that's it. OK, 
Okay. Thank you, Mr. Con Mr. Ken. I see you the next time. Bye bye. That's all, teacher. Okay. I don't know somebody asked right. something to Mr. Ken. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. Next group is Dora, Francisco Eduardo, and Jose Wilfredo. I think there might have been somebody else with you guys. Me. Ah, okay. Wonderful. Okay. Go for it, guys. Yes, true. We're ready. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is William, and we are interviewing because we need to hire someone for the Department of IT. Uh, for the process, we need to record the session so as not to lose any important data when evaluating you. I have some questions for you. For, number one is, what is a cyber attack? Okay, William. Um, a cyber attack, I, I understand that is a assault launched by a cyber criminal using one or more computers against a single or multiple computers or networks. A cyber attack uh, can be ma maliciously disabled, a uh, computer steal data or use the bridge computer as a launch point for another's attack. That's why that that is why uh, what I'm what I understand as a cyber attack. Okay, another question is uh, what other methods methods can be used as a cyber attack? Okay, so other methods that I have found are cyber criminal use a, a variety of the methods to launch a cyber attack, including malware, uh, phishing, ransomware denial of service and among of others. Okay, and how can we protect about cyber attacks? Okay, maybe turn, turn on a, a multi-factor authentication, implement multi-factor authentication on your accounts and make in significantly uh, less like you get a hack. Uh, update your software, uh, also think before you click uh, anything uh, use a strong password also and I guess that those uh, could be some uh, things that could help you to save your uh, well security information okay another question is what is the difference between threat vulnerability and risk okay uh, threat, threat is uh, any circumstance uh, or event or, or with a potential of adversely impact organizational operation, like organizational assessed individuals, other organizationals, or in action through a system by authorized access, destruction, disclosure, modification, or information denial of service. Uh, that's what I understand. About the vulnerability is a, a weakness in IT system that can be exploded uh, by an attacker to deliver a successful attack. And uh, cyber risk is uh, rela related to uh, loss of confidentiality, integrity, or ability of the information data or information uh, or control systems. So that's what I understand about every every word. Okay, and how do cyber attacks affect companies? Okay, so maybe the first one is a financial loss, a losing credibility and losing future investment, which can be lead to the bankruptcy. And could a cyber attack provoke you? Uh, well, maybe the bankrupting and lose the credibility too. Okay, uh, thanks for your answers, Wilfredo. We will evaluate the answer you share with us and we'll let you know the date for the new interview will be. Thanks for everything. We will call you. Okay, thank you, William. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, bye. That's oh. it, teacher.
Okay, thank you very much, guys. Bravo. Okay. All right, next group is uh, Juan Miguel, Roxanne, and Wendy. Okay, I will share my screen. Oops. Okay, uh, Roxana. Okay, I can start. Uh, hi, Romian, how are you? Hi, I'm doing good. And you? So, first of all, to be honest with you, I have a uh, assignment about some different uh, topic, and right now I'm a little confused because I have a um, university assignment about cyber attack and. I know that you are working in IT department and maybe uh, could you help me with my questions? Okay, I can, without okay. pleasure. Okay, thank you for the time. Well, the first one don't, is, sorry? Don't, don't forget to record this, okay? It's part oh. of your assignment, yeah? Okay. Well, uh, the first one is, do you know what is a cyber attack? Yes, a, a cyber attack is a, an attempt to try to steal, to expose, or to sometimes disable or destroy information that is in your system. And when I say the system, I'm not referring only to a program, to a software. I'm referring to the whole system or the whole uh, infrastructure that you have in your company. There are systems, there are devices, there are hardware, there are software. And in all of this, yeah, uh, is, is, your, is your system. So uh, a cyber attack is or uh, try to enter to your system, yeah? Uh, and why? By any, any breach that they can uh, find, yeah? And what kind of people are these? They are the cyber attackers. And uh, obviously they, they are uh, looking for any kind of uh, vulnerabilities uh, in order to, uh, to attack you and after this enter to your system to do whatever they want yeah uh, maybe just steal the info maybe alter the info uh, or some something like this yeah okay thank you now are you conscious that any companies could be a target from cyber attacks yes yes any company, not, but not only companies, also the end users. You uh, have a, a device like your smartphone, your smartwatch, your PC or computer, whatever. But talking about companies, yeah, any kind of companies because uh, nowadays the IoT is part of of every single activity in the company. So uh, the more devices, the more access, the more credentials you have in your system, uh, the more opportunities have the cyber attackers to do or to, or to try to steal your in, yeah? Yeah, and to be honest with you, I think that it's a little complex because, uh, well, in my uh, current job, I work, I'm working with a banking account line. So I configure my cell phone to receive tokens or some calls. And it's important to um, try to uh, get some up, up, updates, updates, yeah, from the authentic, authenticator app to uh, avoid that type of attack. So I'm agree with you, it's a little complex. 
And yeah. the, other, the other one uh, is, have you ever been a target form from cyber attack? Yeah, uh, in some cases in the past, uh, in a company that I were work uh, for, uh, we were uh, we were a yeah a kind of a target, but also it was mixed with the weak link or the weakest link in the company. Yeah, and why I am telling you this because at the end, a uh, the two actions or the two attacks that we had at the company uh, were because of the weakest link. And what is, what is, or what, yeah, what is a, the weakest link? The weakest link is the human factor, yeah? Uh, and what kind uh, situations were uh, at the company? It, it, it was so complicated that, but, but, but I, I, I'm not, I don't know if I am uh, talking uh, more that, than you want to know. I don't know. Well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh... I'm a, little, I'm a little confused because uh, in my previous uh, company, I remember that to say something about that. It's a little complex because uh, the different departments doesn't have enough um, knowledge about some process and it will, no, it complicated that uh, situation. Yeah, the situations are very complex, but you have to, to stay like uh, focused and solve the situation, yeah? Uh, for any kind of method that you know, in order to uh, to back your system to the, to the normality, yeah? And I, I am not if the question is uh, further, but I will try to to explain what what were the two cyber attacks that we had. And though uh, one of them was the ransomware, yeah, uh, an attachment file to the email and the weakest link opened uh, this attachment and they, ransom the information, the data that they had at the system. For example, if you had a, a folder with 10 files, eight of them were uh, ciphered or encrypted, yeah? So you had to, you had to pay uh, in cryptocurrency, yeah? In order to, uh, your, file, your files were uh, uh, open it again mm -hmm. as normally but in the you other didn't have no 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 we didn't do anything because this is a, a, a another kind of of cyber attack yeah they send you a link and you mm -hmm. have to fill some info about your credit card your name the the code in your credit card and though the, this info could be stolen from you could, could be stolen from you and uh, buy something whatever they want in the deep web or, or sell your info in the deep web yeah so okay. it's, it's it's very complicated and the mm -hmm. other kind and the other uh, attack was that was about many viruses on the network and we tried to find a uh, the um, the central point or the focus point on this situation and again was a weakest link it was a person who has who had a, a pen drive 
he he um he put the pen drive on the PC and it was a situation that many, many, many viruses were spread uh, among the network. So at the end, uh, we found the, the, the patient zero, yeah. And uh, we isolated that computer and tried to, to, um, to delete this, these uh, viruses, yeah. And you know, the, maybe it, it is the more uh, common situation because uh, I imagine that uh, the person who uh, working with a laptop, for example, they use the the compa the, the laptop for personal stuff. You know, you receive that equipment for work, but maybe if you gonna have a laptop or, or by yourself, you always use uh, that equipment that uh, the company gives you for work. So it, I think that is very common that type of situation because, um, well, in my case, uh, I, well, some people stolen my, uh, my laptop and I don't have a laptop for, for personal stuff. So I was one laptop for work and I recently, I was using that for personal stuff. Imagine paying some bills in banking or online or something like that. So I think that is very common that a person uh, receive a lot of viruses because they use the, the laptop for, for work and personal stuff. Yeah, it's it's complicated, but uh, you can uh, you can try try some some tips or some situations in order to to minimize these these uh, these risks. Yeah. Yes, I'm agree with you. And um, what do you think? What type of measure do you implement to identify? A cyber attack. Well, in my personal uh, situation, I think that you need to uh, use your personal equipment for your personal stuff and your uh, equipment for work just for work. That is the, the principle, I guess. Yeah, that's that's one of the main uh, measures that you can implement. Another could be the double authentication factor. If you use, if you use uh, some application in uh, from your work, yeah, uh, and not from your work, yeah. I, I'm talking about your personal stuff too, yeah. Uh, another could be uh, have, a antivi have an antivirus in your PC. Uh, especially if you pay some bills or some things like this, you could use a, a personal firewall. Yeah, it's talking about software. Yeah, there are some brands that sell you a antivirus with a firewall and something like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um... How can companies apply cybersecurity? Do you know? Yeah, companies apply this cybersecurity, for example, having a firewall among the or between the internet and the network, yeah, in order to filter the content that, that people inside your network see or watch. Uh, you can do in this equipment uh, or maybe configure or to set some policies that, for example, if a person send an email with uh, the word uh, fire, for example, fire, uh, if this word is inside that, uh, the email, 
the firewall can stop this, this message. Yeah. For you, maybe you can see that the that the message was sent, but at the end, the message was not a was even not a sent from a your um your send mail. Yeah, you could see in in your in your send mail box, but it's uh it's just only for your eyes, not for the system. Yeah. And having the, the antivirus. Uh, and that we can we can talk about this. Yeah. Okay, well, in our case, uh, talking about or, or how maybe the more common uh, is using uh, antiviruses or hidden uh, ne internet network. I remember that my brother was telling me something about that. He used um, software, I guess, that um, it, it helped us to hide the internet network because um, the previous month we received a lot of malicious um, attacks and we lost internet connection. And you know, I'm working with banks and it's a little uh, delicate because it's not my money, it's my work money. And he helped me with something like that, but it's maybe um, another measure or a type of software to implement to minimize the risk. That's that type of case. Yeah, you can use many kinds of, of software that could do this situation that you are talking about. Uh, but obviously, uh, it's not commonly used by uh, by an end user. Yeah. Or or okay, let's talk about this. It's not for configure from the end user. Yeah, maybe some, some uh, professional in this kind of software or situations has to configure and, and set the policies in your network, yeah? And the end use for the end users could be transparent, yeah? But in the background, there are many settings, many many equipments or devices that could be could do these situations. Yeah. yeah maybe. Well, and um, finally, uh, do you receive training in your company to minimize the risk? Yeah, in the company we have a policy, an internal policy about uh, for for the IT department uh, to every. Uh, six months or maybe twice in a year, uh, we got or we received a training related to uh, new equipment and new policies to apply in a, in the uh, in the equipment or something like this. Yeah, and how to handle the the situation. Yeah, there are some workshops with some. Uh, real situations that are performed and how to, and how we uh, can uh, solution these situations. And what happens if you are in front of a cyber attack? In your case, you solve it or you send that, uh, oh, sorry, you notify that malicious uh, activity. We cry at the beginning, yeah, and then we <laughs> act. <laughs> okay, I know, now, I understand. Uh, now, we have to, uh, if we are uh, in front of a cyber attack, we try to uh, to find the origin, yeah? Uh, and if it's a PC or, or a equipment in, inside the network, we have to identify and isolate the, the, the equipment in order to 
uh, to work on the on the equipment and also uh, verify that the network has not been compromised because of that situation. Yeah. Okay. Well, in conclusion, we must be prepared in order to minimize the risk and breaches, not only for external actors, but also for internal users, because, uh, you know, we were talking about that uh, most, uh, the most common uh, situation is when some uh, employees use the work equipment for personal stuff, and it's not correct. And uh, we should know what kind of technology can countermeasure the attack. And if we don't know, we can hire professionals to perform this action. In that case, uh, Juan Miguel was telling that he need to solve, but he need to uh, find what, what is the reason. So if you don't know what is the reason and you don't have a personal, uh, a professional service to know that information, you need to hire a person to investigate that situation because if you are talking about companies, it's sensitive information. It's not, uh, I mean, it's more dangerous when you are uh, talking about a company because your personal stuff, you know, is your responsibility. But when you are working in a company, you need to be more careful. Yes, yes, you're right. Bye. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, thank okay. you for your patience. <laughs> thank you very much. Round of applause, excellent. Very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, we have one more group, but because um, we've come to the end of our class, we're gonna um, we're gonna be listening to that group tomorrow. Okay, so um, Heidi and Jose Marcos, who else was with you? Actually, it's uh -huh. It will be the two of us. Just the two of you. Yes, because okay. he couldn't make. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. No problem. No problem. So that will be for tomorrow. We'll we'll start with you guys. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me just take attendance to finish off. Uh, Anna Claudia. Yes, I'm teacher. David. Present teacher. Dora. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Marvin. Present. Huh? Fernando Marvin is here? No? Ah. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Great. Okay. Um, Francisco? Present teacher. Great. Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Ileana? Present teacher. Arvin? Present teacher. Jose Marcos. Present. Jose Osmin. Jose Osmin. Mister. Okay. Um, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Juan Miguel. Teacher. Eh, Ramón Enrique. Roberto Luis. Eh, Roxana, William, Roxana, ah, okay, perfect, okay, eh, Suleima, Wendy, present, and Wilfredo. Okay, guys, so that's going to be all for today. If there is any questions anybody wants me to answer, you can stay behind. Other than that, then I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Have a nice day. Oh, thanks. See you too, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
William Alexander, Ramon, and Pika, do you have any questions? Any questions? <laughs> 